Andy here, and as you probably know, OBS 32, couple of plugins have broken. One of the plugins, in fact, is the Scene Tree Folder plugin, uh, which doesn't work on OBS 32 now, but never fear. I've actually created a version inside of the StreamUp plugin now, which you can grab from streamup.tips. Uh, you can download it for free. You just uh, need to create an account on our website because we, we've got a lot of bunch, bunch of other stuff on there that you can have a look at as well. Um, and the StreamUp plugin is got a bunch of different features in it. I can leave you some videos on all the other features, but I'm just going to basically show you the scene organizer um so to to install it you install it like any other normal plugin you copy and paste the data and obs plugins files into the obs directory just here and if you're already using the stream up plugin you might need to override it um, but that's fine and if we look into obs uh, you'll know you've got it installed correctly because it'll say stream up right at the top here with a bunch of different things down here uh, you can see the patch notes and everything but the thing that we want is actually in docs. You need to go stream up scenes organizer and make sure this is turned on. Um, and as you saw, that is this window, uh, well, dark in the bottom left here. So it looks a little bit like the scenes um, uh, normal window inside of OBS. Uh, and you've obviously, you can see it next to the sources one. But what you can do with this is we can actually press the plus sign. You probably see that it's got more options than the scene tree plugin as well, if you're used to that one. I've tried to keep all the same functionality as what you get in the uh, the standard OBS scenes menu. So when you right click, you've still got access to all the other tools that are just there. Um, but what we can do is press the plus sign, press add a folder, and we can create a folder folder one I'll call it and then we can actually drag and drop things into the folder to organize our scenes uh, in whatever way that you kind of want to do that that's fine and you can add as many different folders so if I do say another another folder um, and then I'll tell you what we'll put a couple of scenes in there um, that looks good to me and then what I'll do as well is inside folder one I'm actually gonna you can actually make a folder within a folder as well, which is really cool uh, I might add it as a right click um, To add so let me know if you want any features add into this uh, in the comments below and I'll see what I can do So I'll call this folder two and we can drag that folder within that folder and there you go So you get folders within folders so you can really organize your scenes But it adds so much more to that as well if we right click a scene we can actually set a color like you would be able to do with OBS sources. So now we can do that with scenes. So if you want to color code your scenes based on, I don't know, if it's uh, an effect scene or something like that, that can kind of get you moving away from doing prefixes if you want to, because you can obviously organize your scenes exactly the way that you want to. Um, but when it comes to, to all that kind of stuff, we can actually right click and press sort and you've got alphabetical. And what that'll do is put them all in alphabetical order, which because of my OCD, they already are in alphabetical order. Um, but if I start trying to move them around, um, that's putting them all in alphabetical order, so it's all locked in already. Um, we can change it to Z to A if we want to. Um, and as you probably see, the folders are being separated just here, but I've already thought of that, don't worry. If you go into the settings, we've got, you can show the icons of the folder and the scenes. You can remember the, the folder expansion state. So if you've left like a certain folder open, when you restart OBS, it'll remember it. You can make it so to change scene, you double click. So that means you can click on these without changing scene and they double click to physically change scene, which is cool. You can do um, automatic sorting if you want to. So you can set it to Z to A, A to Z. Uh, you can also keep vol folders separated or you can actually put them in the alphabetical order. So when you create a new scene, so if I create another scene and call it um, A, 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 you'll see it gets put. Oh, I created a folder. I'm, I'm silly. Uh, A, 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 2. You can see it gets put in alphabetical order automatically the second that you create a scene. I find it really useful. If you've used the scene tree plugin as well already, it will ask you when you first start OBS and you've got this installed, it'll say, oh, we've noticed that you've got the scene tree plugin. Do you want to import all your current setup? 
So you don't actually have to remake all your folders and things because it will just pull that data across, which is really nice. Uh, obviously, credit goes to the original work by DigiArta of the Scene Tree plugin. Uh, another couple of things that I added as well, I'm still like adding little bits that I, I want in there really uh, to it. So just keep watching this space. We have the ability, whilst we're, because we've got this lock button, and when it's locked, we can't move scenes around at all. No matter what we do, we can't move scenes around. But if we uh, unlock it, we can right click and we can actually hide scenes. So you'll see these go dark now. And what that means is when we do lock, that will just hide them scenes completely from the scene list. So if you've got a lot of scenes, because they're all like uh, maybe uh, nested scenes and things like that, you can just hide all the ones that you don't want to see all the time. Uh, and then you can re show them again by pressing the unlock button and you can unhide them if you want to. You press show scene. Uh, I'm thinking about adding a show all button uh, as well. So you can easily just turn them all back on or something. Uh, but let me know if there are any other things you want to add. And obviously, make sure you're subscribed because obviously I keep posting stuff. And we've got actually a really big update coming very soon, which you will have seen leaked on my socials. So if you're not following me on like, you know, Twitter, the gram and all that jazz, threads, blue sky, uh, go follow me over there. I also show it a lot uh, live at twitch.tv forward slash Andy Lippy. Uh, and last but not least, uh, I think there's probably more things, but I just keep adding stuff. Um, we can actually search as well. So if you search, it'll search for your folders and your scenes as well. So if you've got a ton of scenes, you can just just chat in I'm looking for. Oh, there we go. Cool. There, I've got all my scenes, which is really nice. you got your little filters button if you need to get the filters up. Um, what other stuff is there? Obviously, the lock, the colors uh, and yeah i'm sure that's it i think i mean that's a lot of stuff anyway right that's a lot of stuff uh, hopefully you enjoy this plugin if you do please share it um because i just keep doing a lot of updates recently this is a free plugin so please consider supporting so i can keep making this stuff full time it's time to pretty hard at the moment uh so yeah i just keep doing lots of special stuff for you but if you want to see what the new stuff is that's coming out go check it out on my socials all right if you've got any questions anything that you want added to the plugin or any bugs please let me know all right either in the comments or in discord or whatever put your rock over the stone i'll see you soon Ooh. Auto zoom, bro. That wasn't even edited.